the following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. Hello, this is Rosemary of DK and our darling partner, Havoc. You, <laughs> hello, <laughs> are watching Perched on the Top Rope. <laughs> and Havoc, I have a, a very important question from you. This comes from... Uh, my video editor, Alex Todd, he can't be here. I have a video that will go with this. Perch on the Top Rope Digital Media Correspondent, Alex Todd here. My question is for Havoc. Havoc, it's well known that you are a supporter of the autism slash neurodivergence community. I myself having been diagnosed when I was nine years old, I would like to ask you what your opinions are on people that may be on said spectrum or part of the community breaking into the business. Someone like Will Ospreay was diagnosed with autism in 2020 and he's currently the best wrestler in the world. So I'd just like to know what your opinion on, you know, starting to see that more in the wrestling community is. Thank you. So I am thrilled that you're bringing this up because um, which hello, Alex, sorry, you couldn't make it, but, um, I, uh, I have a little cousin named Isabel and she was diagnosed with autism. She was nonverbal for several years, uh, at the beginning of her life. And now she's, you know, she's talking and honestly, and, and it's, it's funny too, because I have quite a few wrestling fans who are on the spectrum and that that are autistic and i just because of my uh, because of isabel i just always you know just seeing how amazing of a person and how intelligent she is and how special she is and how there's so many misconceptions of what people think of people who are diagnosed with autism and i think that you know having pro wrestlers um, you know, who are thriving and very successful with these, you know, as they would call them, like, you know, people consider it like a, you know, like an unfortunate thing that they have to deal with or for whatever reason, but to see someone thriving in the business who is so successful having autism, I think it's important. And I think it's wonderful to have wrestlers in the business advocating for that and also being like hey i'm just like you and this is possible for anyone so it's it to me it means a lot you know um to be able to help that you know that group of people who might feel left out or feel like they're different and because they're different they shouldn't be included and i am here to say that you are 100 included and you, there's no one like you and the, you're special for that reason. So it's, it's something that is very near and dear to my heart. And, uh, it's, I think that's very important for us to have people who are leaders like this, that could show that it could be possible for anyone. Also, sorry for that long winded. <laughs> Actually, we would like to add on to that if you don't mind. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, because absolutely uh, each of them are, are special as individuals, but we think it's important to express that you're not alone yes. and that there are people that if you are willing and brave enough to share what you're going through, you'd be surprised to find how many people are, are going through similar. Um, the creation of Decay at, at its inter interaction, uh, it was something, a conversation between ourselves and Steve that Decay and the Hive uh, that formed around us was was always meant to be, we wanted it to be a place of belonging, a belonging for the unbelonging uh, yes. was the concept that we came up with. Everyone who thought that they didn't belong to a certain fandom or didn't look a certain way or 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 couldn't find couldn't identify with anyone else this was a place that you were always welcome to come and enjoy wrestling and speak with all the different people that you meet in the fandom um we've seen so many different and, and it's and it's not a commentary on the people whose whose fandom it's surrounded by but sometimes a lot of times fan can fans can be very toxic and very yes. uh, unwelcoming and one thing we've always prided ourselves on is we see conversations amongst the hivelings and the fans of DK, and they've always been incredibly welcome, welcoming and understanding and very open of each other. And yes. to to see the message, the original message still carried on and conveyed over the last seven years has been very um, heartwarming to see. Yes. 
I thank the both of you for answering that question. And thank you, Alex, for asking that question. Yes. Thank yes, you. I hope Alex? you are not trapped any any longer, Alex. So sorry you couldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Must be in the undead realm. <laughs> <laughs>